Good evening. Welcome to Gallant Sector. I'm going to talk about something a little more serious today. Marriage. Um, it's not going to be too serious. We can have fun with it. I'm just going to express my personal opinion about it. But um, I'll follow this lady on Snapchat. She cooks. She has a website. Bunch of good recipes. I might put a link down in the description below. Um... Well, she just happened to be talking about marriage and how she was single and marriage isn't for her, but she is looking for a boo, whatever. But she was saying to everybody who was responding, I, I guess, that marriage is about a lot more than just love nowadays. And I agree with her. I agree 100%. Nowadays, yes, it's about a lot more than love. You can be in love with somebody and skip out on an opportunity because it doesn't match up to your personal interests. Um, there's a lot of things you got to think about. One of the biggest concerns, kids, you got to think about that. If you want kids and somebody else doesn't, you're digging the person, you're hanging out, you're dating. I don't even know if you should continue dating if you don't want kids and the other person does, or vice versa. Because it's going to come to that point in time where that's the discussion you're going to have to have. It's possible to fall in love with somebody and want something different, especially something that you both aren't looking for immediately. You know, where you're going to live at, if somebody has family in a different state and they're going to college where you are and you two meet and you date and everything's going great. Say you're not willing to move or relocate and that person wants to go back home or be close to family. That's something that has to be discussed. Um, yes, uh, man, even filing taxes together, if a person isn't good with their financial handling, I mean, seriously, that can cause some problems. There's lots of things that can cause problems. So just being in love is just not enough nowadays. Financial situation, if their money handling is terrible or they don't make a lot of money or enough money to keep up with the goals that you have, then... That should be a discussion that has to take place. And if that person loves you, they're willing to better their self or their situation to accommodate to what would be best for both. I'm not just looking at things like, oh, I got to do what's just great or best for me, so I got to leave you and get out the relationship. No, I don't believe that. Let's let's find some middle ground where it work for both of us, you know, especially if you love a person. Now, when they say love conquers all. I believe that could be true in certain situations, but you got to realize you can't be a self-centered person. You can't be a selfish person. Even friendships nowadays don't last too long. If you have too many differences or you guys don't agree on so, so much, but marriage is a really important thing because that's a commitment. I mean, lots of people nowadays don't want to get married because they don't want to make commitments. They don't want to honor those commitments. You got a lot of guys out here that know that there's some hoes. Got a lot of women out here, same way. They don't want to pass up the opportunity of getting with somebody who's great or different than everybody else they know and they already made a commitment to one person then it's, oh, where was this person at? I couldn't have met them 10 years ago, whatever the case may be. Yeah, people can lie about stuff. That's why we need identification nowadays. That's why we need marriage license. But um, it's, it's it goes so deep, and we don't really have time to talk about all that. Or at least I don't. It's late. I want to get to sleep. Whatever the case is, I got to stop saying that so much. But, yeah, whatever the case may be, even without having those differences in beliefs or wants or goals, people still have problems within their marriage. I just think we look at marriage different nowadays. There's some statistics that show that, you know, I mean... The marriage rate is dropping and the divorce rate is sky high, you know, different, uh, whatever. I think marriage is better family-wise to be having children and not be married or to be living together and not be married. I mean, some people look at marriage as it's just a piece of paper. That's not true. Sometimes it's a commitment. Uh, there's religious people that believe that it's a way of showing that you're committed to the person that you're getting married to, but showing God, not just your family members and friends. It's a ceremony, it's a party. We wanna party and have a party for everything. Might as well have one 
for when you find the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. It's all about what you want. It's all about what you feel is right. Might have been a lot more simple in a simpler life uh, thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, geez. But nowadays things are really complicated with everything we have in the world. There's so many hobbies people have, so many ideas, um, so many temptations. There's always temptation. But I agree. Marriage is about a lot more than love. But I'm big on love. And I believe you marry a person when you find that person where most of the things in their life and your life complement each other. So let's not give up on the hope of marriage. I think marriage is great. You want to have kids? And it would be great to sit down at a dinner table every night with your family. All your kids are there. Your wife, your husband, and all your kids are by each other. Yeah, but um, tell me what you guys think about that. Is marriage about a lot more than love? Or is just love enough? Write some comments below. Subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy my channel. Recommend it to your friends.